What Abby said is, as long as you surround it, that hard oval plastic, as long as you surround it and push it down, it's not going to fall in anywhere. It just lay on the top. As, so what you focus on is the center, that you surround the center, then you, you just lay the washer on top. But again, every time we put it in, we're going to want to look at the silicone ring, and then we are going to want to make sure that there's no little scrap pieces in the middle. I'm going to bring my hand back down in here, hopefully. Or we'll see. Okay, so we see that there's nothing really in the middle, but those two notches, the one at the top, the one at the bottom, I, I want to try to get them lined up as close as I can. And I see that there's nothing in the middle blocking where that damper will sit back on top. Now, this is one way of doing it, right? Me placing them down in the print head without the damper. Later, you're going to see when I place the dampers back down into it, and I can't. I can also place the, these rings right onto the damper instead of the print head. Really easy, again, to pull off those little scraps. You saw I did it with my fingers. If you want, you can try to pull it off with tweezers. I found it so much easier just to pull it off with my hands because I got a better grip than the tweezers did on the small little scrappy pieces. All right, this is a really simple way of doing it. Um, I feel like I said, this is one way of just laying it down into the print head. I'll talk about the other way where we can lay it onto the damper and then lay the dampers into the front head. Okie okay, dokie, so we have our dampers back and we still have our bracket on the damper. If we see on the back of the print head in the ET8550, there are small little slots in the back that is where it's wanting you to put the tail of the damper, is what I'm going to call it, the tail of the damper into. 